Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, hope you're all doing well, thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is going to be a spirit message for September, so hopefully you'll be able to like, share and subscribe today. Um, there's other messages on my channel if you want to look at them. Spirit, please show me the message that you want to give to Cancer today, please. Thinker. And this is number eight. So this is about knowledge. This is about all the knowledge you've gained. It's about looking at where you're at, taking time out to review things, being content about how far you've come, thinking about the lessons and the challenges you've been through and the knowledge you've gained through going through these experiences. So it's time to sit and think about things. Oh, big happy changes are coming in. So reviewing things, thinking about that, going towards your goals here. It's always important to be in the present when you want to be doing these things and getting more information. So it might be that you're thinking of going on a course, for example, and you might have to get some information about the course you're going on or you're going to gain some knowledge along the way through learning, through experiences that are going to bring big happy changes for you in the future. We will just have a look and see what this is all about. I'm going to cut these cards, I'll cut them and do it this way, okay? Normally I let them come out, but we're going to do it this way today. The Two of Swords. Tower Moment. The Emperor, under your thinker, okay? Your Knight of Cups. Ten of Swords, which is your central card, which is a good card to have in the centre. Your Page of Wands, your Six of Swords, there's your Thinker card again, this is the Hanged Man, and your Queen of Swords going forward. So your central card here is putting an end to the cycle of any kind of disappointments or overthinking things or being stabbed in the back. So there's an end of a cycle, tens of the ends of cycles. So it's the end of any mental anguish that you've been going through here. So any kind of, you know, if somebody's been upsetting you, all this, so it's time to put this behind you to bring in your big happy changes. Now, when this cycle ends or you put this cycle to an end, it's about thinking about what you want to create for yourself here. And that's how we put an end to mental cycles. If there's something you're passionate about or an idea that you have, it's about going towards that now. And this is what will bring in the big happy changes. So you could be going towards a course, you could be going towards, you know, decide you want to have a relationship, uh, learning a new skill, thinking about going towards a new job and putting behind you all the past disappointments that have been, uh, you've been going through here. And this brings in your big happy changes and it will move you towards your Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups, Knights are movement. So you're going towards what makes you happy here. So think about what it is that you want here, Cancer what you would like to create for yourself. Like I say, any ideas, it's time to take action now. So it could be that you're not happy in a job and you've got this idea that you would like to promote it. So you might have to learn new knowledge, you know, gain more information, learning a course, all this type of thing. It might be that you've got your eye, your eye on someone or they've got their eye on you because this could be an opportunity of love. Now, if it's a person coming towards you, it's Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, like I say, this could be you going towards someone else. You've got an idea that there might be the, the opportunity of a relationship. You need to gather more information, explore it more, because this could put the end of the disappointments uh, within your relationship. Now, that's just an example of what I'm talking about. This could be any opportunity that's coming forward that's going to make you happy. It could be somebody offering you... Uh, like I say, the opportunity to learn something more, to put you on a path that you really always wanted to be on. It could be anything. It could be in your work. It could be in your home life. Anything like it could be the opportunity. It could be a, a an offer for your house to come forward and it's going to start you moving towards, you know, if you're selling your house, moving to you towards the big happy changes that Spirit is wanting for you. Now, there's been tower moments. We've all had tower moments in our life, definitely. Um, this is about making a decision to go forward. It's a decision that you might not have made yet because you might need more information. We have got the thinker card here. So it's about looking at things, studying things, gaining more information to move you on from any disappointments, like I say, that have caused upheaval in your life. So we've all had tower moments and it's time to put them behind us and make a decision to go forward. Now, gathering more information, Spirit's saying here, will help you make that decision. And it's about making the decision now 
to move towards what you want to create and taking control of this. So the emperor is a controlling energy. He's very knowledgeable. So like I say, you might have to get more information they're telling you here on what it is that you want to create for yourself. This could also be somebody coming in with a lot of knowledge that could help you. So if you're passionate about going towards a course, you could be gathering information from somebody who's a teacher on that course, a counsellor, anything like that. But somebody who is in a high position of authority and knowledge could definitely help you move forward. So if there's anything you're thinking about cancer, now's the time to act on it and make this decision. Now, getting this information is going to help you get clarity. That's what Spirit's saying here. You'll get clarity here. And the Queen of Swords is a very intellectual energy. She knows exactly which path she wants to go down. You can see her hand showing forward, you know, leading forward here. There's no one puts her off, no one gets in her way, and no one clouds her judgment. And this is about cutting people and situations out that no longer serve you. So if there's been situations in the past, environments, people, um, or situations in the past that have caused you disappointment, it's time to think about them now and make a decision a clear-headed decision about how you want to go forward. Now, one way of doing that, this hanged man here, he is someone who, there's been a lot of patience needed here. And spirit holds us in this energy when they want us to gain knowledge and learn things. And this is what this has been all about. If there's been any kind of challenges we've been through, whether they be mental or otherwise, this is all about your soul growth. It's about you growing and learning from your experiences. And when we're when we're realising what we don't want or who we don't want or where we don't want to be, we're learning the opposite about what we do want and what we do need and where we do want to be. So we want to be around people that don't let us down, people where we could thrive around, a supportive, a good supportive network, for example, a good environment in our workplace, or be around people that have got the same creative energy as we have or enthusiasm for what we want to be doing. Now, this can be, like I say, you can be thinking about this, like Spirit's suggesting. And if you look back and all the knowledge you've gained, there can be a light bulb moment and it can be like, I'm done with this now. I'm finished with all the disappointments. I'm going to start to create stable new beginnings for myself. And I am going to go towards what it is that is good for me here. So beautiful energies. Now, when you're in that very clear, like I say, King of, uh, I beg your pardon, Queen of Swords energy, you will start to move forward. And it moves you in from choppy waters into calmer waters. And this is a great, this is mental energy as well. So this is all about perception here and putting behind us things that have mentally troubled us because spirit is in this boat here and they're moving you from, they're wanting to move from choppy waters to calmer waters. So this will bring the big happy changes in cancer for you. Now, what I will do is I will clarify the tower card and the 10 of wands together, please. Uh, 10 of swords, I beg your pardon. Beautiful cards. Woo! -hoo! Beautiful, beautiful cards here. So if you're any doubt about what the tower moment's been or all the disappointments you've been through, this tower moment will be different for everybody and there's different degrees of tower moments. So it could just be learning something about someone that's like you know, that you're feeling disappointed and let down, or it could be something more serious. Like I say, different for everybody. But it's designed to put an end to all the mental anguish and disappointments for you, and it's designed to create a brand new cycle. Now, spirit can sometimes bring these tower moments in. Always remember the universe has our best interests at heart and what spirit wants the best for us. So after this tower moment always comes the star card in the in the the tarot deck, which is about hope and rejuvenation. And what Spirit wants for you is they're wanting a brand new cycle. And tens, like I say, are the end of cycles and the start of new ones. So this is completion, putting an end to things, putting an end to a cycle and a brand new beginning. Now, this could be anything. It could be leaving a job behind that's not, that's not satisfying and moving towards a new one that you would enjoy more. Uh, it could be start going into another... Uh, leaving a relationship and going towards what you're passionate about here, but it's a life-changing type of completion. So the end of one cycle and the beginning of something, something new. And we have got the Empress here, and we've also got the Emperor on the table. So this could be an opportunity of love. If there's been disasters in your past, like I say, and disappointments and people letting you down, this could be a very, very good relationship for yourself. The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. It doesn't come much better than that, Cancer. 
And this, like I say, is someone who, this is rebirth, rejuvenation, along with the world card. My goodness me, there's great things ahead, Cancer, if we trust and believe in the journey we're on. Um, there's big happy changes here and you can see it for yourself. So rebirth, rejuvenation. It could also be pregnancy. Like I say, the start of a new job, a new cycle in your life that you're going to enjoy very much. And this is going to bring you into balance with yourself and your environments, your relationships. This can be, um, it could be you at one with yourself, or this could be this beautiful relationship that's coming forward. This person is a mirror image of you. They see life the same way. Um, so all the past disappointments, the failed relationships are ending, all the disappointing people possibly have come into your life. This doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friendship. It could be a business partnership. It could be a good boss here that's going to help you move forward. But this is about the person is on the same page as you. They see life the same way and they are a mirror image of you. So it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship here, whether it be romantic or otherwise. Now, I'm just going to get you a couple of divine direction messages to end this reading, please. Right. Family. Family. Family is everything. Reconnect with them or tell them you love them. And this is what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be with anyone. It could be a good friendship or it could be making up with a family member. This one is strength. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused, stand tall and shine. Absolutely. It's your time, Cancer. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.